Hey there! In this short video I just want to tell you about a couple of useful shortcuts I use um, when I'm using the, the either the Rive um, editor or the Windows IDE for Dialog APL and it's most, mostly keyboard shortcuts but not only so yeah so let me just show you a couple of them so let me start by I don't know typing a couple of random APL expressions uh, and then, I don't know, the 6 drop of IOTA 100. Now, when you have a couple of things written down, what you can do is you can press Control shift backspace to go back um, and to go through the history of lines you have typed. So Control shift backspace goes back, and if you press Control shift enter you go forward again. So again, that's Control shift backspace to go back and Control shift enter to go forward. Now, say I'm, I don't know, I'm editing a line and maybe I want to do a times here and uh, maybe just add something over there. Now, if you give up on a line you're editing, what you can do is you can press shift escape and that just gets rid of the changes you're making to that line. And that's nice if you if you go to to the log at the top and you say you start changing it and moving it around but then you give up what you can do is you can press shift escape and that just leaves the line unchanged so pretty useful in my opinion <clears throat> now one other thing you can do is let's see let me define um, let me define a, uh, just an empty function Another useful shortcut is, if you double click on something, on an object, it opens the editor window on that object. So now I've opened the editor window on this different, and I can say that this does, for example, alpha plus omega. But then, if you realize you want to discard your changes, much like you can use shift escape to discard the changes on the current line, you can use shift escape to discard the changes on the current editor window. So we can see that f is still the empty function. So pretty useful in my opinion too. And then there's a there's plenty of shortcuts that do not come with default bindings. So you can bind keyboard shortcuts to lots of actions, that's what I meant. So there's plenty of actions that can be bound to keyboard shortcuts so in your windows ide what you have to do is go to options configure and then keyboard shortcuts so this contains a description of the action and the shortcut that comes with it and you, as you can see plenty of these do not come with any shortcut whatsoever and if you're using write that's going to be um, edit preferences and then shortcuts so same thing here and then before we conclude, I just want to tell you about another shortcut I use very often, just because I'm lazy. So when you have a long session, uh, a long session log, sometimes I scroll up to take a look at what I've done, and then I want to scroll down, or I want to go back to the bottom. And so what you can do and is, and this is a pretty universal shortcut, so this is not something specific to dialog, but you can just press Control end um, Actually, to be fair, I don't think maybe some keyboards do not have a end key but if it, if yours does you can press ctrl and to go back to the well to the end of your session so if i don't know i'm up here i'm doing some things but now I, let me give up on these changes and then i can press ctrl and and i'm back at the bottom again so that's when i lose a lot so that's it for this video we've taken a look at how to go through your history of commands with ctrl shift backspace and ctrl shift enter We've seen how you can double-click names to edit those objects. We've seen how to discard changes both in the current line and in the editor. And I've shown you how to, well, jump back to the end of the session and how to configure plenty of other useful actions that you can bind to keyboard shortcuts. So that's it for now and I'll see you later. Bye.